All right, in this video, we're going to do some arithmetic sequence examples. Um, so a really common type of problem is where you know a couple of terms and you need to write the equation or the uh, you know the formula that's generating the sequence. So if I know a sub 1 is 8 and I know a sub 2 is 12, uh, that's really all I need to do the problem. So this problem is going to be kind of basic. I could actually work it out. D is definitely going to be equal to 4 because I have to add 4 to 8 to get 12, but let's do the work. Um, so I've memorized this. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus d times the quantity n minus 1. Um, so a sub 2 would be equal to a sub 1 plus d times the quantity 2 minus 1. And now where do I get a sub 2? Well, that's going to be 12, so let's plug that in. And then a sub 1 is 8, so let's plug that in. And then it's going to be plus d times 2 minus 1 is 1. Um, so solving that, I get that d equals 4. Once I know what d equals, I can... Uh, go back to the formula, so if d is equal to 4, then a sub n is going to be 8 plus 4 times the quantity n minus 1. Um, now let's say that I want to find a sub 4. So what I'll do is I'll take this formula I just worked out, and I'm going to replace the n with 4, and that gives me 8 plus 4 times the quantity 4 minus 1, which is 8 plus 12, which is 20. Or maybe I want to find the 11th term. So once I have this formula, I can work out pretty much any term, uh, I'm only limited by my ability to multiply and add. Also to subtract 1, but I think I'm pretty capable of that. Um, so I would get 8 plus 4 times the quantity 11 minus 1, which is 10. So 8 plus 40, which is 48. Um, let's try one more example here. And I have a sub 15 is equal to 48. And a sub 23 is equal to 96. So what I'm going to do is write down the general formula. So a sub n is equal to a sub k plus d times the quantity n minus k. And let's do the same thing. We'll plug in. a sub 23 is a sub 15 plus d times the quantity 23 minus 15. Um, a sub 23 I see is 96. Plug it in. a sub 15 is 48. So let's plug that in. And then we get plus d times 8. All right, so a little arithmetic here, or I guess it's a little algebra. Uh, 96 minus 48 is actually 48. Um, so I get 8D is equal to 48, which means that D is equal to 6. So I know D uh, is equal to 6. And now I can uh, kind of figure out what A sub 1 is if I want to. So to do that, I'm going to go back uh, to this equation up top and plug in the things I know. So A sub 1 should be A sub 15 plus d times the quantity 1 minus 15. So I'm going to go backwards, so that means I'm going to get a negative when I do that subtraction. Um, so a sub 1 is plugging in, and we can simplify this. So it's going to be 48 minus 84, and then, so a sub 1 is negative 36. So from there I can write my sequence. So this is a really common thing to do. Um, it's going to be the first term plus the difference times n minus 1. Um, but what if I decided to use the other point? So I used uh, a sub 15 to figure that out. What if, for some reason, I decided to say that a sub 1 is a sub 23 plus d times um, the quantity 1 minus 23, which it should be. Um, and I know that d is equal to 6, so I get a sub 1 is 96 plus 6 times negative 22. And actually, if I keep working on this, eventually I get that a sub 1 is negative 36. So you'll notice, no matter how I did it, I was getting the same value of a sub 1. That has to happen. And if I get the same value, that means I'm going to get the same formula to generate it, which is good. Uh, let's take a look at another one that I'm going to do a little differently, because there's no reason that I need to start at a sub 1. Uh, it's a typical thing to do. So let's say that I know that a sub 12 is 200 and a sub 19 is 305. Um, so I'm going to do the work, and maybe I just don't want to find the first term. I just want to get something a little more general. Um, so a sub n is equal to a sub k plus d times the quantity n minus k. How many times have I said that? If you don't know that, um, you're going to be in trouble. So make sure you do. So we're going to plug in just like we have been and go through the pro process. So I really just want to find d at this point. So I get 305 equals 200 plus 7d, or d times 7, which means 105 equals 7d, which means that d is equal to 15. And now I'm going to go back to this equation, and I'm just going to plug in what I know. So I'll take one of the points that I know. So a sub n is 
Uh, I'm going to go with A sub 12 in this case. So A sub 12 plus D, which was 15, times the quantity N minus 12. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you might have a teacher that insists upon having uh, the quantity N minus 1, in which case this problem would have the additional step of figuring out the first term. But otherwise, this will generate the exact same terms of the sequence. So it's perfectly valid. And uh, I hope this was helpful. Good luck.